Hey, sweetheart. Sorry, it's kind of dark. So, um, I promised I'd make you a video. And, um, for anyone else watching, um, Anthropophagus on PS was asking about I am injections, um, or not I am injections, um, sub Q injections. Um, and was saying that, um, she was having trouble drawing up from the vial. So, I have single dose and multi dose, and I'm going to show you a couple different things. Just hopefully, something will be useful. So, this you probably saw this in, um, in the video where I did the IM. But yeah, like these come with a little space, so I just squeeze them just because sometimes that'll stick in the position that it's in. I have my little, this is just a single dose vial. Um, basically the deal with vials is that you want to inject the volume of air equivalent to the volume of fluid that you're going to be pulling out. So this is a one mil vial. So I'm going to pull my plunger back so that there's one mil air, right? And then this is already swabbed, by the way. You should swab yours, even if you just pop the top off, because they're not necessarily sterile. And also, um, for multi-dose vials, of course, also um, 15 seconds with alcohol. Scrub vigorously before you. Um, we're going to put a needle in there. So yeah, you draw back to the volume you have to pull out. And then try and enter the vial at a 45 degree angle and then straighten it up to vertical. The reason for that is um, these needles obviously are hollow and if you go straight in you can actually get a chunk of the rubber stopper stuck up in there. It's called coring. You don't want that to happen. So um, yeah, 45 degree angle until straight. So I'll just demonstrate. So um, you find like the point of your needle. Let's see if it shows that. I don't think so. I don't think it's, it's good enough to show it. Dang it. No. Maybe. Anyway, so I'm just taking the tip here. I'm going into the center of the vial. So you go in at a 45 degree angle. Then as you're inserting, you can um, you can raise to straight, and then this is the catch here. You turn it upside down; it'll stay. Um, now, one of the reasons you might have been given longer needles is because um, entering the vial, you need enough needle to get through that. So they probably should have given you a different length needle to inject sub-Q than you're using to pull up in the vial. Um, usually vial withdrawal needles need to be longer. And I think that's why you're having some little symptoms, like it might be going into the muscle. So um, definitely I would ask um, your doctor about getting shorter needles for the actual sub-Q injection and then you can keep the longer half inch for pulling your med out of your vials. So okay, so then you just push the air up and you'll, yeah, you'll see the plunger pull back on its own a little bit. Like there's an extra half cc of pressure. Um, and that's common, these are positive pressure, but it's still not enough to um, pull out what you need. So you push this up in there. Now here's the deal with the bubbles, okay? If your needle was long enough, I don't think it's bright enough to show this, dang it. Shoot. Anyway, if your needle was long enough, you will see it stick above the fluid level, and I don't think that's going to show, dang it, let's see. Can I get that fluid level to show? Jeez, well you could see my needle point, right? And then, okay, yeah, it is showing a little bit. Not well, but basically you see that my 
the tip of my needle is above the fluid level. That's when you push in and you won't get all those bubbles. If the needle is below that level and you push it in, then yeah, it's gonna, all that air is gonna bubble up through the fluid. And if it's a thicker injection, then yeah, it's gonna um, get all frothy on you, bubbly and stuff. So yeah, if your needle's long enough to go above the surface of the liquid to press in your air, you're good. If not, tilt the vial and push the needle upward so that the point, let's see if I can, I don't think I can show that either. I should appeal the label off to show you, but um, basically the liquid level is going down here. Let's see. I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's showing though. Um, I don't think it's gonna show, dang it. But basically, um, okay, here. it's not going to show, but my fluid level is about halfway now, and, um, dang it, this is really shitty, I'm going to have to do this with my Blackberry, I think, for better footage, but if you push the needle up to the top of the vial, um, like up to the, the, surface that's highest up then you can usually raise the tip of the needle above the level of fluid and then you can push your air in and then before you let go hold the plunger right turn it back up again pull your needle down so it's below the surface of the fluid yeah this isn't going to show at all i'm gonna have to figure out some other way to show you this but you can go by what i'm saying and then you can let go and it will pull up for you. This is only in the middle, so. What just happened? That was weird. I have no idea what just happened. Anyway, then you have your, um, your, um, meds drawn up. So, okay, um, at that point, if you have the smaller needles, you can take this one off and screw on the shorter one to do the sub-Q injection. Ask about that. Um, I think that will help you not have to deal with so much of that twinge of the half-inch needle going to your muscle. Because you're little, so you don't have a lot of, of tissue in between your skin and your muscle. So... <clears throat> Yeah, a shorter needle would be really good for your sub Q. Um, I will make you a multi-dose one also, just to show you a little bit different. And that one is a clear vial, so you'll be able to see what I'm trying to say better. I'll be right back.